G'day, it's John Willis here for Club Marine TV and I'm in Port Phillip Bay at Bow Morris. It's a beautiful day and I'm in a beautiful boat. This is the Revival 640 Offshore Hardtop with the big V8 Mercury 200 horsepower Pro XS on the back. It's a good boat. Come on, I'll show you how it goes. Mitch Dean from JV Marine, how are you mate? Good Johnny, glad to be here. Not a bad bloke this, but he's not a bad singer either, check him out. We're in the Revival 640 offshore hardtop and I've got to say I'm very, very impressed. This is a great fishing boat, it's a great family boat. There's a bit of experience in the build here I think. Yeah, you'd think with it, you know, Sammy's been building boats for probably close to 60 years so I reckon he's learned a thing or two you know, throughout the journey. Mitch, this is a great size boat at 6.4. It's got an amazing amount of deck room in it. It really, I guess, is designed mainly for an offshore fisherman, but this is really going to appeal to a wide sector of the market, isn't it? We get, we get offshore fishers coming in here looking at these. We get a lot of family boaties looking at these. Um, you know, they put the rear table in. Um, they, these rear lounge, can, you can put the seat boxes in. Yep. You know, removable, take them out. Yep. Um, so yeah, it's a really versatile boat and a bit of room to move when you've got a few people on board, the kids all running around the place, and good high freeboard yeah. with plenty of handholds. That's important for a family. Definitely is, yeah. This is a really well laid out package, actually. The workstation's just great. It's not only a workstation, it's a PlayStation, I think. Underneath here, you've got the fold down rear lounge, so that's really versatile. When you want to fish, you just fold them out the way and you've got a nice padded rest for your legs as well. That's important if you're fighting a big fish for a long time too. Underneath, you've got twin batteries with a pressurised hose for keeping it all nice and clean. You've got a good little icebox tank down here, good for the bait or the drinks. Good workstation, and I like the rod rack setup. This is very Victorian with the uh, stainless rod racks, but that's all customised, obviously, by the dealer, JV Marine. And look at this. I really like this. Not only does this swing to the side, but that pulls out of the way, so it's really easy to get in and out. You could be scuba diving, or just getting in and out, having some fun out the back. There's a lot of experience shown in just the little things that make a big difference here. You've got non-skid right where you need it for boarding on the boat. You've got recessed grab rails, really safe but out of the way. Padded combings make it really easy to fight a big fish for an extended period. And don't forget, you need to be able to lock your toes in as well. Underneath the full length side pockets and they've got rod storage as well. I'm really liking the helm layout, in particular the seating. The seating's ultra important. Well, for me it is, anyhow. Really nice quality seats with armrests and fold-up bolsters. You've got suspension seat this side for shock absorption. And I really like the layout of the Esky retainer underneath the passenger seat as well. Works perfectly. Have a look at the size of this cabin. It's just huge. There's plenty of room if you want to go and camp the night for a while. You might want to put a little cabin divider in here as well. Bit of security and privacy. You got the works. This one's got infills in it at the moment that makes up that entire bed, but pull them out. You've got plenty of room to move in there. You've got a porta potty recess already. Plenty of storage under the seats and it's a fully molded liner. So it's nice and easy to keep clean. You're actually going to feel like the king of the mountain at this helm. It's just terrific. Gives you a really, really good sense of, uh, of confidence. That hardtop's just terrific. We've got plenty of room to put your radios and entertainment system up there as well. Heavy duty clears with inserts to get plenty of fresh air. Stainless steel grab rail here. And something I am going to mention is the stainless steel support structure at the back that makes really strong grab holds. When you're in a big sea, your crew aren't gonna get thrown around too much. But look at the size of this dashboard, it's just great. You can see over it beautifully, but you got room for anything up to about a 16 inch unit in there, maybe multiple units. This one's got the uh, Lowrance HDS 12, which is more than adequate for my use. Mercury gauges are just great. You've actually got a leaning post as well, which is really good for doing increments on the flush controls. Sports steering wheel, all your switch panel, Viper winch control unit, all close at hand, with the footholds as well. What more do you want? When it's time to go and have some fun, put the hammer down and check this. It jumps out of the water. Ha ha! What a beauty, that's 200 Mercury horsepower on the back there with that Pro XS four stroke, giving great range, Great torque, great speed, 
and great fuel economy. Comes along beautifully. She actually pops out at about 3,000 RPM. But you can start tripping up from about 32, 3,400. We're currently sitting on about 4,000 RPM with a little bit of trim and doing 21.2 knots. And this is your standard offshore traveling speed. It's nice to have that extra speed when you want it, but when it's swelling, when it's rough, this is the speed you actually travel at. Let's go and have some fun, show you what it'll do. All right, we've put it down a little bit. We've trimmed up a little bit. We're at about 5,500 RPM here and we're doing right on 30 knots and it just feels great. So predictable, so solid. It's got no bad habits, this boat. Just feels great. Here we go, wide open throttle, trimmed up. Away, she feels great. 42 knots, here we go. That's at uh, 5,600 RPM using 72 litres an hour. That's sensational. Great fuel usage for such a big engine. Sensibly, when you want to cover some distance on pretty easy going conditions like we've got at the moment, you can trim in a little bit, bring that nose down, 28 knots using 34 litres an hour at 4,000 RPM. That's economical travelling. You're going a long way at 30 knots very, very quickly and very comfortably. Well, I've got to say at the end of the day, what an eye-opener. This is actually a ripper boat, the Revival 640 Offshore Hardtop. A great boat and a great looking boat too, don't you think? With that 200 horsepower V8 Mercury power for just under $130,000, that's one ripper package. This has been John Willis for Club Marine TV.